All right, now we're going to talk about something that I think is very special. Oh, I've I knew gotten you to get, oh, yeah. oh, boy. Oh, this is really cool. Wait till you see. Okay. The Fractal Foundation is where art and science collide. Love first Fractal Fridays. Okay. Yeah. Got All right. If you're like me, you don't really know what <laughs> fractals are. Here you go. They're geometrical and mathematical patterns that are found everywhere in nature, and they're getting kids excited about learning. Mm -hmm. Our face of Fox, Michael Newman, explains. This is your face of Fox, Michael Newman, and today I'm highlighting a local nonprofit that's getting kids and adults excited about science and math. That's right. And through fractals, which people probably never heard of, but I'm here with Jonathan Wolf, the director of the Fractal Foundation, and you're going to tell us about what fractals are and what the foundation is doing to get kids and adults excited about you know, math and art and science. Certainly. Thank you, Michael. So fractals are beautiful patterns. They're never-ending patterns. That's what I like to say. It's a shape that's made of little copies of the same shape. And so you can zoom in and see more and more detail the farther you go. Now, the great thing is they're not abstract and bizarre. They're actually all around us. The world is full of fractals. If you look up, the clouds are fractals, the trees are fractals, rivers, mountains, So they're found throughout nature, all across nature. Fractals are a mathematical language that describes nature. Wow. That, that's an epic statement, but it's, it's very practical at the same time. Can you talk about some of the practical applications of fractals? Certainly. So, well, students do fractal science projects and research projects all the time, and they contribute to engineering. And uh, one kid out on the East Coast, a high school student, invented, he won a science fair by uh, inventing a new way of aligning solar panels wow. that mimic the way that trees grow. So they're not just rectangular, boring things. They're kind of copying the pattern of leaves so they collect solar light more efficiently and solar energy. Wow. And, uh, so like biomimicry kind of thing? Biomimicry is one of the lessons that we teach all the time. Wow. Lessons of nature, uh, engineering inspired by nature. And that's what fractals really provide uh, an access to, yes. Wow. And so what, tell me about what your, the foundation's doing with, you know, with kids and, so, and adults. Certainly, yeah. absolutely. We do all kinds of programs, but mm -hmm. there's uh, several in particular that I'd love to share. So we do educational outreach. We go into schools, uh, community centers, senior centers, libraries, uh, uh, home schools, after school activities, and teach people that science and math are fun and exciting and beautiful. I mean, a lot of people are looking at this as some abstract thing, but it's very practical it's, and people, kids at home could do this. It's totally it's visual, involved. it's fun, it's like a video game, but you're exploring algebra. That's awesome. And we get kids who like play with these things and they, just really young kids, like the girl who made this, she's yeah. a, she was a third grader and she wow. said, I can't wait to learn algebra so I can make better fractals. <laughs> they want to understand how this stuff works. Hey, if a third grader, grader could do that, I could do that too, right? You certainly could, That's Michael. awesome. Well, um, to get all those those parents out there that want to get their kids involved in something regarding, you know, math and arts and sciences especially, because that's that's a big trend right now in terms of career paths. So it's hugely important. It's the, it's the key to success, both for our whole society at large and for individuals to be mathematically and scientifically literate. So, wow. Absolutely. How can parents get involved and get their kids involved? Certainly. So right. our website is fractalfoundation.org. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much, Jonathan, for, for sharing some a little bit of information about yeah. something that is huge in nature. But. Oh, it's infinite. And, uh, you know, I've been exploring it for a bunch of years, but I keep learning more and uh, one last thing I'd want to say if people want to learn more they can come to our planetarium show first Friday fractals where oh, you can really okay. be immersed and see this stuff uh, firsthand okay I, I went to that and that was awesome so cool. thank you for, for the work that you do and getting kids involved in this stuff it's, it's really great super welcome thank you Michael all right here's all the info you need to know the fractal foundation you can go to their website or just head on over fractal foundation.org and it's uh, located right there uh, that and address for you on the screen you're a regular at first fractal I've only Fridays. Been once but I want to go back it was it's really cool basically you're taking algebra and then you're displaying it with these patterns and think about numbers are infinite and right. so these patterns are infinite and so it's zooming into these patterns and you see like all the different colors it's, it's all based off of math equation it's really cool it, and, and kids love it and it's fun for adults too okay and it gets kids particularly women interested in math and science yes, which is what we need so more of right important. now to me it looks like a real life kaleidoscope it's it very does beautiful look and like it's that. like you're just kind of turning the lens but you just see it and it's it's displayed you see it on the planetary he was talking about the first friday fractals that's yeah. what's really fun. the first friday of every month uh, you can go there it's not much at all you can take your kids and they do they put it up on a planetarium and it's it's a really neat experience and go and you might see meteorologist chris might and van dyke there, there. That's right. <laughs> all right <laughs>